Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new Windows Setup Interface update that Microsoft is building for Windows 11. So yes, after more than 10 years, Microsoft is finally updating the visuals of the Windows Setup. The Windows Setup was first introduced with Windows Vista, and well, it has changed over the years. Let me show you, this is the design for Windows 7, and this was the design for Windows 8. As we can see, the Windows Setup for Windows 10 was the same as the one for Windows 8. The only difference was that the Windows logo didn't include the version number on the main window. And on Windows 11, we also have the exactly same design as the one for Windows 10 and even Windows 8, with the difference that we have a different font for the Windows branding and we see the new Windows logo. But now Microsoft is updating the interface with something that looks a lot like the media creation tool and still retains the same principle that we have seen since Windows Vista. According to the company, all the features are supported in this new design. However, it might affect some workflows. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the new interface and we're gonna go through the installation process, but this is not meant to be a tutorial to install the operating system. And the first thing that you're going to notice is an, on the first page, we get to select the language and time settings. However, in order to choose the keyboard layout, we need to go to a different page. On the other hand, if we looked at the legacy version of the setup, we can see that we can choose the keyboard layout right from the first page. So there's an additional click that you have to go through to go through the installation process. And now on the next page, that's where you're going to decide what is it that you want to do in the setup. And on this page, you have three options. You can go through the Windows 11 installation, you can access the Repair My PC tools, and you can switch to the legacy experience. Now on the legacy version, the install Windows 11 option will be the install now button and to access the repair these PC features that will be the repair your computer option that appear on the bottom left corner before we go through the installation process of Windows 11 let's look at the different options so if we select the launch the legacy experience and then we click next we're taking back to the legacy version of the setup now let's look at the repair my PC option so basically, when you choose the Repair My PC option, you are taken to the Windows Recovery Environment, which you can also see that we have different icons representing each of the options, but pretty much everything else is still the same as the Recovery Environment on previous versions of the operating system. So on the legacy version, you will need to click the repair your computer option in order to access the recovery environment. And as you can see, we have the same settings, just with different icons. Now on the uh, setup options, we're going to select to install Windows 11 and you need to agree to the terms. And then when we click next, we're gonna see that we have the product key page where you can enter the product key to activate your version of Windows. If you don't have the key, you can do that later and you can skip it using the I don't have a product key option right at the bottom left corner. From here, you can choose the version of Windows that you want to install. You need to accept the terms again. And then we also have the page to choose on which drive you want to install Windows 11. All the features are the same as the previous version, but now they're just located at the top of the page. You can even load the drivers like before if the hard drive is not being recognized and you have to supply the driver in order to install the operating system. So you can delete partitions. And then we can select the, the drive that we want to use. We don't need to create any partitions because Windows will do that automatically. And then when you're ready, you can click next, but the installation will not proceed immediately. Instead, you're going to see a summary of what's going to happen, just like when you're using the media creation tool. In this case, it's telling us that we're installing Windows 11 Pro and it's not going to keep anything on the computer, so everything is going to be erased. And only then you get the option to install the operating system. And once you click the install button, you're taken to a blue screen that's going to show you the progress of the installation, just like when doing an in-place upgrade or you're doing a clean installation, but through the Windows desktop. Now on the legacy experience, we have to click the install now button. Then we also have the page to activate Windows 11. You can also skip the activation at this time. 
you can also select the edition of Windows that you want to install. Then you need to set the terms. And here we're going to choose the custom install to do a clean installation. And this is the page that is not available on the new version of the setup. Again, we have the same options to manage the partitions to install Windows 11. So now in here, we're going to select the drive that we want to install Windows 11. And then when we click the next button, the installation process will start immediately. Although we're getting a new update for the visuals for the Windows setup, after this many years, it is my opinion that the interface should at least look like the interface that we have to finish setting up Windows 11, like what we're seeing right now on the screen. The out of box experience is not getting an update right now, so I'm just gonna go through the step to finish setting up Windows 11. And that's it. That was a quick look at the new Windows 11 setup experience. And we also compare it to the legacy version. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.